shitty streaming programs no matter what i fucking do but as i was saying um this game is basically like super meat boy and classic sonic and like super meat boy is already hellish with like how like chaotic it is like anybody who's like is seeing a little let's play or video of it y'all already know how hellish super meat boy is and just to put like classic sonic on top of that is like a holy fuck it is just oh my god like i don't know why i'm getting myself into but you know what this game it was two bucks and i just love that picture of sonic up there so i'm just like you know what why not i'll play this fucking game unfortunately he got a movie deal so we'll have to settle for you wait what was this fucking game made like around the time the first Sonic movie was being made? <laughs> you alone must rescue the Chickaburbs from the evil Dr. Proventriculus. Actually, I uh, uh, am just here for my therapy appointment. You seek serenity and it can only be found by facing your fears. I just really don't want to die. I also think I might have left the stove on and the other door uh, and the door unlocked that I leave the fridge open. Take this ancient artifact. A computer monitor we found in a palm tree. It will give you infinite lives, of course. Unintelligible agony. How do you feel? Uh, moist. Ill. Then you found power go forth in your quest. Can I expect other helpful power ups like this on my journey? Don't count on it. Oh God. All right, see you later, uh, love. And hey there, Rapunzel. Like what a, what a moment in the stream to come uh, arrive in. But yeah, okay. So, I wonder how many times I'm going to die here. Place your bets. Place your bets on how many times uh, I'm going to die. Can I even get this right here? No. Can I even spin dash? Oh, you can't spin dash. Oh, wow. You can't even, like, hold down to, like, do a spin dash. But this is way more restrictive than Sonic 1. Five? That's way too generous, Loki. <laughs> Especially for a game like this. That is way too generous. Hey, don't egg me like that, bruh. I don't even have a clue if, like, getting, like all the eggs is gonna like unlock a special level but we'll just uh, play through it regularly we'll we'll see what we got hey yo hey, motherfucker ow okay there's the first death <laughs> there we go there we fucking go oh god Okay, this is bad so far, but it's so far. Who knows how this game is going to be? Hey, hey, hey. Did you rescue all the chicken birds? So now I did. I didn't know how long it is. <laughs> well, I mean, I honestly don't know how long this game is going to be either. Because I just saw this game for two bucks and I heard it's basically Sonic with, um, with whatchamacallit, um, like Super Meat Boy shit. And I was like, you know what? This will be a fun game to stream. 
when I start coming back. Oh, okay. So you hold the X button to do a spin dash. That's really fucking weird. Imagine if Sonic was like that, where instead of like holding down and pressing the jump button a lot, it was just a separate button. Oh, shit. <laughs> I thought I was going to fucking die. <laughs> Wait, you missed 15. What are you talking about with the eggs? Hmm. This game also be like Crash Bandicoot with the leftover collectibles punishing you. Oh, God. Yeah, I really hope it's not like that. You know, I think that's also why I'm not really going to be doing marathons that much anymore because it's like I would love to play the Crash Bandicoot games and uh, I don't feel like playing four because I, I heard four is a huge fucking nightmare. It's a 100 percent. And I usually love 100 percent in games, but uh, no, especially after Super Mario Sunshine. No, no, thank you. I rather not 100% games that are frustrating. <laughs> can I even get that? I don't even think I can. Well, you know what? Whatever. Those eggs will just stay there to rot and die. They even chuck all of them at the screen. It's like crash. Here is the crates you miss instead. Here's all the kids you didn't save and now I'm killing them. This game is so brutal. Like, what the fuck? If you're gonna, like, punish me for not saving the kids, then why are you gonna kill me with the kids that you got that I didn't get? Oh, shit. This is the freaking marble garden zone shit from Sonic 3. Oh my god. Okay. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. Okay. No! <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> I thought I was gonna latch on to the fucking stick. Oh, that's so fucking mean, game. You a bitch. Oh, for fuck's sake. I didn't even fucking do that. You must become the new completionist to people demand it. Nah, I'm good. I don't think I want to be. <laughs> I don't think I want 100% games that piss me off anymore. But that said, though, um, I don't know. M maybe if I hit a certain amount of followers, I might do that again with a different game. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Why can't I hit the freaking stick when I just walk to it? It's like, see, and if I just walked to it right there without jumping and he latched on to the stick like the fuck. So mean game. So evil, like, bruh. Oh my God. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, the, all the kids can stay dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, but no. The 250 follow goal. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably not that high, but maybe around 150 or 200. Honestly, it would be better to do it alone. I found it much more difficult to do anything when people watch me. Oh, yeah, I feel that. And I'm like last time I don't have friends to call upon. Yeah, so you can't cheat your way out of this one. <laughs> 
Take a few laps to build up speed, then time to jumps to remember rolling reduces drag. Yeah. Ooh, okay. So yeah, that's basically from Sonic 1 doing this thing. Yeah, we don't care about the kids. <laughs> But yeah, I, I do feel that too, Austin. Like, I, I honestly don't feel comfortable playing like certain games in front of people, especially if it's like my first time, because I know people are going to be like, oh my God, why are you doing the game like this, Alpha? Why are you not so good? I'm just like, damn, bro. It's like my first fucking time playing the damn game. Oh shit. Oh god. No! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Speaks in Skeletor's voice. Curse you, Alpha! Why can't you play this awesome porcupine game correctly? Nyeh! Although when I focus, I also go silent. I was silent for like six hours straight, 100%ing Surgeon Suit. Oh snap, that's a game I haven't heard from in a long time. Are you doing that like as a speed run thing or, or like just to say, you know what? Let me just 100% this game because fuck it. There we go. Save the children, Alpha. Like, what the fuck? You're just gonna let the game kill them? <laughs> and I'm sorry, Skeletor, but unless getting all the eggs unlocks like a special world, I'm not gonna do it. Although, with that said, this game, you know, besides my stupid mistakes like that right there, is it really busting my balls as much? So I'm kind of wondering uh, if it's gonna stop pulling the punches like later on. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh my god, are you serious? The mother hens didn't want them anyway. Damn. A plus plus on all on all levels wasn't fun, especially in the ambulance and sp space. Well, you go to space in that game. Well, <laughs> you're doing some operation on an alien or something. I honestly wouldn't put it past that game to do something like that, though, considering like how wacky it is. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, my God. No, I didn't mean to land there. Fuck. Okay, yeah, I could tell this game is uh, not pulling any more punches. So, though, that could just be me being shitty at the game. <laughs> <laughs> Which it could be both. Oh god. Oh shit, I was about to hit that thing again. Okay. Aw, oh, come on, bro. I didn't mean to hit that. Shit. Okay, bro. Come on. Okay, yeah. Doing a spin dash on certain uh, parts of the fucking game, uh really really uh, damn it really isn't a good idea fuck man you know it's been a while since i stream when i can't talk and concentrate at the same time so let me shut the fuck up for a bit there we go there we go oh my god oh, oh you thought you were gonna get me with that huh yeah bitch Space. Five on a normal guy, one on an alien. In total, if not the PC version, there's 26 levels, which all of them can then can slap. You can slap silly. Most of them you need to literally do in a short time limit and under 600 ml blood loss. Oh, God. So uh, would that game be uh, like, 
harder or easier than Super Meat Boy? <laughs> you know, since we're on the topic of like, uh, like Super Meat Boy because of this game. Oh, uh, see right there. He didn't want to grab the stick. Like, come on, bruh. Why don't you want to grab the stick? Why? No! Oh my god, bruh. Don't do that. No! Oh my god, he didn't grab it again! <laughs> More importantly, harder than 100% sunshine. I mean, sunshine really isn't hard as much as it is just frustrating as fuck. Like, oh my god. God bless people who could put up with that, because I sure can't. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Nah, bro. Don't do that. Come on. Run. Run, bitch. Run. Yeah. Yeah. You thought I was going to fall for that again? Yeah. Think again, buddy. Oh, God. Okay. Come on. You can rock, walk faster, please. Wait. Oh my god, there are like four more and I didn't even get them all. You know what? Alright. Wait. Alright, let me read these comments. Most of them you... Okay, yeah, the pen Super Meat Boy is fair. Surgeon Simulator isn't fair in the slightest. You just have to deal with it. You don't get better at it. If the kidneys go into the patient, you can't grab them anymore, which... Oh, God, what? Okay, yeah, that, that really is shitty. I mean, granted, it seems like those games are meant to be like the Rage game. So... I fair on that part i guess but that's still pretty dumb and yeah in space no one can hear your frustration so maybe it's better that i do my streams in space instead of like my home <laughs> so my folks don't have to hear me scream my ass off oh damn it oh wait okay, here we go yeah okay is there anything up here Okay, no, there's not, because there's just the beginning again. Where the hell is the fucking birds at? Where are them birdies at? No! Come on, bruh. You're supposed to be like Sonic the Hedgehog. S bruh, channel your inner Sonic. Come on. I mean, granted, Sonic is also about physics-based, like, platforming. It's not just speed, but still. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm trying to also be careful and not do, like, some really dumb mistake. This is why, like, I'm taking it easy. Okay, where, where is the, where is the seventh and final bird? Where'd the birdie be? Oh no, I put the left kidney where the right kidney should be and the right kidney where the left kidney should be. <laughs> oh my god. That's some fucked up shit right there. Oh my god, bruh. Can, can you... Okay, there we go. There we go. Speed it up. Okay, nothing here. Oh, there we go. Why the fuck did I not see that before? Oh, and I got all the eggs so no children die. That's good. 
My favorite was the trophies to do uh, them so unbelievably fast that it, it's almost impossible. For instance, I transplant and the ambulance under two minutes. Oh God. Yeah, it doesn't sound. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't sound like you you could do something like that in two minutes in real life, unless you're like the ultimate surgeon of all time in our planet. Alpha would be that girl that always be like, "Why can't you be <laughs> like my last BF? <laughs> Why can't you be like Sonic? He's so awesome! Like, what the fuck?" And here's the boss fight. Oh shit! Oh look, it's um. It's Eggman's uh, third cousin twice removed. Is that what this is? Fuck. I'm not surprised like the boss would like get their hit points back. If you like die because that uh, his little infinite lives ability basically just resets time. So, with that said, does that mean that this game is supposed to be a sequel to Sonic CD? Because we're just having, like, an implementation of, like, time travel. Are we going to see a metal porcupine? <laughs> Are we going to see a, a crazy fangirl for this porcupine? Is that what I'm getting from this? Come on, one more birdie to save. No! Oh shit! Oh my god, I thought I was gonna land on the fucking spikes. There we fucking go. Oh shit! The Flicky's actually fighting back? Holy fuck, I'd never seen that in the Sonic game before. I was there for like three hours. I literally shoved the drill into his eye. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> then take a saw blade to his uh, eyes while the guy was driving is making turns at 70 miles per hour <laughs> he was better than you hell yeah sonic is better than this guy aren't you smash aren't you smashing into them that doesn't seem like you're saving eggs i i mean it's you know, I, I, it's just his unique way of saving people. Just like people in Kingdom Hearts. Like, how do you save people in Kingdom Hearts? You beat the shit out of them. <laughs> this is this guy's way of saving people, too. In case it's not clear yet, rolling down hills is the best way to build momentum. Have you ever played a Sonic game before? Well, if you haven't, then why the fuck are you playing this? <laughs> Ow! Okay, <laughs> I should have seen that coming. I, I love how this game also follows the rule of like Sonic to where you can't play these games brain dead because they catch you off guard with traps like that. Granted, the traps in like the actual Sonic games aren't always that brutal. But you know, we have to make an exception for this game considering it's uh... It's supposed to be Super Meat Boy. Ow! Shit! The hero's method is always different. Yep. I forgot to save the women from a. Oh, I use a hammer. <laughs> I mean, hell yeah. Oh shit! I sh I jumped too early. Man, fuck me. Oh, are you kidding? Bruh, I could have gotten the whatever. Oh shit, I forgot I have to jump there too. Fuck. Aw, oh, damn it. Well, those two eggs won't be saved. Oh shit, okay, there we go. I missed four babbies. They will die. The Super Meat Boy and the Sonic had a bastard love child. And it was this poor asshole. Come 
huh? Press the jump button to launch. Oh. I can't even turn it either. What the hell? Okay, so now we have Donkey Kong stuff in this game with the barrels and shit. Why am I trying to get the eggs? <laughs> I missed like a bunch of them earlier. <laughs> Hold up, maybe I could get them. Wait. Huh? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I see it now. There we go. Fuck yeah. Oh no. No! You bitch! <laughs> no! Damn it. Oh no. Wait, uh, super. Wait, okay, yeah, I read that. The porcupine is doing his best but keeps being judged by a better version of him. Like, uh, I'm not gonna lie, Porcupine. I would have beaten this stage like five seconds ago. Oh, fuck. Oh, I have missed eggs here, too. Okay. Didn't even see that. Oh, God. Okay. No! I how am I supposed to do that one? Am I supposed to build up speed somehow and just go there? Cause how do you build up speed in this fucking section of the game? Like, hello? There we go. Wait, whoop, 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 whoop. Oh shit. Whoop. Oh, dude, shit! Oh, no! I gotta do it again! <laughs> Fuck! Okay, bruh. Oh my god. Son of a bitch, bruh. <laughs> uh, so the game decided to not go easy on me in this world. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Get the egg. Oh, son of a bitch. Now I gotta shoot myself. Not in that way. I'm talking about shoot myself from the cannon. Oh my god. My brain just caught what I said. No, I, I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> I'm talking about with cannons. In cartoon like fashion. Oh my god. <laughs> and I would have saved all the children. You're just a monster, dude. I may be a monster, but I'm faster than you, bitch. <laughs> Come on, get the egg. Get the green egg. Green eggs and ham. Holy shit, we have a Dr. Seuss reference in this game, guys. That, that goes hard. Yeah, get fucked. Ooh, okay. Wait, hold up. Hold up, little birdie. Oh my god, I'm a, I'm a die. I'm a die trying to get this purple egg. Oh, never mind. Hey, we did it.
Live just hates this porcupine. I mean, just look at his face. It's the face that begs for death in his life of uh, unending agony. He's kind of like the Peppino of Sonic. Because Peppino is basically Wario, but with so much PTSD and, like, anxiety. And I just love that Anton Blast is basically Wario, but with just uh, unbridled rage. So does that mean we're going to get a Sonic clone that's basically just Sonic, but super pissed off? I'd love that, actually. God. Oof. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, shit. I'm trying to save the kids. Oh, okay. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Just trying to save kids, man. I don't want to I don't want to see kids die in this game anymore. <laughs> but if I do miss one then uh yeah I I tried. Wait, what's it? I hope there wasn't more eggs up there. Oh, there was. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's literally just shit. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. So already, we already have an Anton Blast version of Sonic. Siva Gunner's version of Sonic. You know, the, yeah, I could. This could also pass as a Siva Gunner version of him. Oh no. You know, this is a Super Meat Boy take on Sonic, so it's appropriate that we have like buzz saws now. Oh, God. Ooh, 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 ooh. okay, okay. Uh, oh God. Wait, what? There, there is no try. Only do. So if you do get some kill, that's on you. Damn, Sonic with some bars. Hold up. Damn, I didn't know Sonic. I didn't know Sonic was into like rapping. Whole shit. Do shot. He got sawed in half. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting unique death animations. Holy shit. This poor porcupine. He didn't ask for any of this, and yet here he is suffering. Oh my god, he got sawed in half again. <laughs> oh my god. Sonic, you just see him with his hands uh, up looking shocked whenever he dies, but here it's just like, no, nah, fuck you, you're getting sawed. What, you thought this was a kid's game? Hell fucking nah, uh, you're getting sawed, son! Oh, he gets sawed in half again! <laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch, I'm kicking your ass. Reminds me of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, yeah. I just love in four kids, they were like, oh, if this saw touches your leg, you, you will get sent to the shadow realm. It's like, I don't think kids are going to be dumb enough to just see that and be like, uh, yeah, yeah he, he's going to get sent to the shadow realm. Like, no, nah, that bitch is getting his legs taken out. <laughs> oh, my God. It's just so funny. They tried doing that whole shadow realm thing for four kids because it's like, Guys, you, you a kid will just replace the shadow realm with hell. So it's like you 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 already failed in trying to censor death. And then again, four kids does a lot of weird shit when it comes to like censoring stuff. All right, bro. Well, let's see if I could get these eggs and these birds, because now we just got to focus on the birds. Okay, we just need that last one. A pink, oh, a pink bird. Is that supposed to be Amy then? Does a birdie just love this porcupine? And this is Sonic after all. And you know, there, there's a, a pink character. Then again, that just could be Kerbo and bird form, fuck. <laughs> you go to the shadow realm slowly as the shadow, who has a shadow 
pours out er, er, from your leg. Oh god, someone called the hospital. They also remove all the graves, so they it looked like they were crying over grass for some reason. <clears throat> Not to mention, like, <laughs> here's a really fucked up one, but it's like, and, and like the four kids version, like they like edit Mai's breast to be smaller. But then they just kept Taya's breast size the same, so it's like, why did they not edit her breast size too? <laughs> like I get why they did it for my, but it's like Taya's like, nah, keep the <laughs> keep that shit the same size. <laughs> oh my god, that's like really sus shit there. Four kids, just saying. Oh my god. Okay, now I gotta we gotta get this fucking these eggs right here. Whoop. Okay, never mind. Oh yeah, Sanji's yeah. And then that one dude that was smoking that was in like part of like the navy like um he's just smoking on nothing, so it just looks like smoke is just coming out of his mouth like in a, such a weird way. And then there's also that blonde dude from the first episode of One Piece where instead of holding a gun, he was just holding some weird hammer like device. And I'm just like, what the fuck is that supposed to be? Ow! Oh, damn. I just made myself laugh at my own joy with the sudden realization of the characters that someone isn't just sent to the shadow room and is bleeding out. <laughs> Like, oh man, all the Shadow Realm is just coming out of his leg now. Well, there's nothing we can do. You're already dead, kiddo. I hope you have a pleasant, slow trip to the Shadow Realm. Oh my god. Jelly filled donuts are my favorite. Oh my god, that's the most famous fucking one of them all. And I probably shouldn't be reading chat when I'm doing this, but. Hell yeah. Hey, shout outs to the jelly filled donuts. Like I I'm sure lots of like YouTubers that do like cooking stuff has already just made that. Which I surprisingly haven't seen any of. Cause I watch a lot of cooking stuff on YouTube. I've I have yet to like actually seen one where they make jelly filled donuts uh, that look like rice balls. Maybe they haven't done it much because maybe that's like the most obvious joke you can do, right? <laughs> you know, speaking of which, I've seen like people like do like cooking stuff of like that giant turkey leg and stuff that Luffy usually eats in one piece. And how they did it is like they like um they took like a regular chicken leg they did some stuff with it and then they just slapped on a top of like a lot of meat on top of it and it's like and then they deep fried it and was like hey guys look is that giant a uh, turkey leg thing that luffy eats and i'm just like guys you, you just took a chicken leg you slapped some meat on it and then you deep fried it and then you just called it a day <laughs> I'm just like, what is happening right now? Let me see. Hey, don't worry, kids. From this, we teach you that black. Oh, no. Oh, no. Not that. Not. Oh, no. <laughs> the pirate rap. Okay, but the pirate rap is actually really good, though. I have a weird appreciation for four kids, even if they even if their work was trash. I mean, I will say I do love some of the voice actors because I know people usually rag on the voice actors, but I'm just like, yeah, but Luffy's four kids voice was really good. Then there's Yugi and Pegasus was just really fucking spot on. I also really love Kaiba's voice. Um, and even though like Yami Bakura was really like unfitting. Like, I did love, like, the evil, like, British villain, like, hammy voice that he had. Like, maybe it's not, like, a good fit for Yami Bakora, but it's still, like, a good villain voice to me, honestly. <clears throat> the 
five the five D's dub was actually solid. Yeah, actually, I've seen some episodes of that, and I agree. Like they did a really good job with dubbing that. Yeah, I didn't know why they had the the line of Mugu Gay Pan from Luffy though. Uh, I'm trying to redeem a sound, but it won't let me. That wait, really? Hold up. Ah, Twitch being dumb. I mean, let me see. Uh -huh. Yeah, it played for me. But which one were you playing though? I'll play it for you if you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Rapunzel doesn't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, cause um, it's been a while since I've seen One Piece. I would like to get back to it, but I'm just gonna read the manga cause uh, yeah, the anime is just wow. <laughs> As soon as I saw a clip of that one, of that one scene in the One Piece anime where like Luffy was fighting some sumo dude and like they were just stumbling for like two minutes straight. I'm like, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> All right, I'll play it for you. Hold up. No, it's all good, Rapunzel. Yeah, but there you go. <laughs> I might add some more like sound point redeems, but I'm not sure of which. So if you guys have like requests on what you want to see with that, then let me know. Oh shit! Ooh. 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 Oh shit! Talking about the kid that sounds exactly like four kids. Oh yeah, that thing glitch posted on his server and was talking about on his streams. Oh god. Oh lord, yeah. So for those who don't know, there's like a really racist version of up that someone made. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I want to post it like uh, up here in the in the stream because. It's not like super well i mean it is super bad but it's just like oh my god the fucking like the the really terrible shit that like they got away with in that cartoon like wow i'm just like who, who made this <laughs> well time to make the japanese language in the background look like a random scribbles yeah and uh, you also say that but there's also like um like some text that i remember in like a scene of like the battle city arc where they just took out a logo completely and it was in english too so i'm i'm like why do they have feel the need to take that out <laughs> like i i think like the letters also said something like supply so i'm just like that's not even bad who let him cook right like who the fuck let these people who made this really <laughs> racist version of up cook oh my god I, that is that shit was just crazy as fuck i gotta go actually see you guys all right thanks again austin for stopping by uh i could hit you up with like a a link to the discord server if you want to join there because uh Steam Labs was supposed to post that, but uh, it seems like Steam Labs bot is like sleeping, but yeah. That's something else that I got to tinker with because I don't know why Steam Labs doesn't really do anything for me. Oh, and I, I tell it to like post commands and stuff, but uh, it just doesn't for some reason. <clears throat> Excuse me. Damn it, I keep fucking forgetting. <laughs> Four kids is an enigma. <clears throat> oh, Streamlabs, Streamlabs, my bad. I, I don't know why I still mix up Steam and Stream. 
but yeah steam labs i mean stream stream labs fuck <laughs> oh my god oh my goodness come here birdie Oh my god. Oh god. Whoop, 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 whoop. Damn it. Twitch, stop doing that. Let me see what my peeps are saying. Is Steam making their own streaming platform? I honestly wouldn't be surprised at this point because they have like their own Switch. They have like their own like messaging program that um that you could use if you're like have friends on uh, Steam. Cause I was actually chatting with uh, an old Facebook friend of mine like last year through that messaging thing. So it it it, it, it so I wouldn't be surprised if they started branching out to other things. You know, not only that, but there's a lot of programs too that you could get through Steam, which I don't get why you would want to, but it, it's there if you want them. I would honestly love to see how Steam would approach that though. Just like a streaming program. <clears throat> Damn it, porcupine. <laughs> this fucking porcupine is such a bullshit, I swear. You know, uh, 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 just to uh, get off the topic of Steam and, uh, racist luffy from the racist up <laughs> bootleg and this porcupine uh, it feels so nice to stream again and i'm so glad that y'all are chilling with me you know e even though like obs did that hiccup with the sound which i'm sorry for blasting your ears earlier but uh you know just just thank you guys but this is a new mindset and approach to streaming that I'm gonna have. Like, I, it just feels really, really nice to be back at it again. I feel like anything they would make would be better than what Twitch is right now. Oh God, yeah. Cause I, I love how they're like, oh, we're okay with like nude stuff. And then they're like, uh, a second thought, uh, sorry, but no. I love how someone described that as a Twitch having post nut clarity. <laughs> they were like, oh yeah, man, let's just have nude stuff. And they're like, oh shit. Uh, sorry guys. Uh, we, we were just in the moment, but, uh, yeah, no, no nude stuff actually. Um, oh God, I I'm stuck. Oh, oh damn it. I could have made it. Fuck. No. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh God. Oh my God. No. I'm glad that you're enjoying streaming again, Alpha. Uh, I oh no! <laughs> I was gonna say, I see a question mark there, but I, I know that was a typo, but yeah. Also, damn it, porcupine! 
Here's a five hour video essay on why Sonic is better than you. <laughs> oh my god. I just love how I was ripping on that with uh, some of my friends being like, oh, there's these YouTube video essays that always say some dumb shit like that. Oh, thank God. Okay, good. Oh, there's no fucking way to... How am I supposed to fucking get that? Hello? How am I supposed to get those eggs? Hello? <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, of course. There's a five hour video of how Sonic is better than you brought to you by Spooky. Oh God. I still want to do a joke like that. Uh, like whenever I do the highlight video because that, that shit just had me rolling so hard. Oh No Oh my god, okay. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here There we go. All the babbies have been saved This uh, <laughs> except for the ones that <laughs> I let die. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry babbies How long have I been streaming? Oh, an hour and 15. All right. Yeah, we will be streaming for uh, another hour and a half, maybe. Because another thing that I don't want to do is like do streams that are more than like three hours because uh, holy fuck. Holy fuck. Those types of streams fuck me up a lot. But <laughs> But yeah, oh, 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 oh. oh no. Oh my god. <clears throat> Are you kidding me, bruh? Uh, okay, birdie. Let me read the comments. Uh, and fantasize the game. <laughs> Ah, kill all the birds. Oh, no. Oh, I see what you're doing here. Oh, you're evil. I appreciate it, though. <clears throat> nice. Let me go get some water before we uh, continue. Ooh, we have a split in the map now. Okay. Uh, let's go to seven because it, it, it's there. It's the number before eight. Oh, you! Oh, no! No! Damn it. You know, I recognize that sound effect where he lands on the spikes like that. That sounds uh, something that came out of um, Sonic Spinball. Oh god, okay. Panic, the Attic and Skywalker of this universe? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, sand. So much sand. Damn, he got sand. Uh, <laughs> he got sand so hard that he got stabbed. <laughs> I love how that's the only thing I remember Anakin Skywalker for. You know, not the fact that he's Darth Vader, like the greatest villain in like this like sci-fi, but it's like it just being like 
the freaking guy who hates sand. Like, yeah, do you know what? That too. That one scene. <laughs> my dad <laughs> my dad was watching a reaction video of like someone watching like that scene. And she was like crying because he's like, oh my god, like the fact that he's killing all these children is so horrible. And I'm just... <laughs> I was just, I was just laughing my ass off because all the memes about that scene just fucked me up so hard. I was just like, I can't take this fucking scene seriously anymore. <laughs> I'm just like, bro. Oh my god, you know I, I, I like, you know I have been desensitized so hard. From that fucking scene when I just laugh at it now. <laughs> oh my god. Shout outs to the people who actually like it responded like perfectly well to that scene and well in the appropriate way I should say because I, I, I sure as hell can't anymore. Oh my god. I know I'm supposed to jump there. Okay, but oh! Oh no! Oh fuck me, my curiosity! <laughs> oh no, bruh. Oh my god. That shit's so dumb. Oh my goodness, wait, hold up. Let me check on something. Okay, yeah, my bad. My favorite meme of that is where the kids are the gingerbread man from Shrek and Anakin is the cookie monster. With a gallon of milk. <laughs> I think I've seen that one before. Oh my god, that shit goes hard, bruh. I fucking love stupid ass memes like that! Oh god. That wasn't a good meme, though. Me dying in the game. That definitely wasn't. Oh god. Ooh shit. Okay, good. All these buzz saws, brother. Oh my god. I mean, like I said though, this is the Super Meat Boy of Sonic, so I mean you shouldn't be surprised to see buzz saws. The stupidest memes tend to be the best exactly fuck. Again, I shouldn't be doing that when I'm not having the game pause, but yeah, they, they definitely tend to be. That's why they tend to be the ones that live the longest, too. Uh, okay, there we go. Bus all time. <gasps> oh, shit. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. I thought I was gonna die. Okay, good. Good shit. Also, very specific memes can also be the best. Yeah. Because they, they tend to also live too, just because they don't get overused as much. Oh. Oh god, I thought I was gonna fuck up there. What? No! <laughs> you can't do that, game. What the fuck? Oh my god, I thought I wouldn't touch the fucking saw blades, bro. What the hell? Damn, bro. You really do be fucking me up like that, man. Damn. Oh, I'm sorry. Bitch. 
Okay, bruh. Okay. Kidoki then. Artichoke. <laughs> Panic went to the shadow realm. He went to the shadow realm so much. He's just a regular visitor there now. It's like the one person who could go to the shadow realm and not get mentally fucked. He's just like, you know what? I'm already mentally fucked, so this place doesn't fuck with me <laughs> like other people. Oh my god. Panic can be the only character that could do a shadow game, lose, and just be like, you know what? This ain't nothing. You think being in the shadow realm is hellish? Like, I I live every day in, like, a full anxiety. This ain't nothing to me. <laughs> he goes a vacation in the shadow realm? Oh, my God. He's hardcore as fuck, damn. Maybe he is better than Sonic. And then Sonic is like, excuse you? <laughs> okay, I'm missing birds. Okay, laughter stops now. Oh no! No! Oh, fuck. I think I know where the other two birds are, though. It has a funny timeshare there. Oh, my God. He's like the only person who could do free real estate in that place. He's like the Shadow Realm, like, incarnate at this point. You know, maybe that's why his hair is so spiked up like Yugi and Bakora and Merrick. He's, he's, you know, instead of being a Sonic character, he's actually a Yu-Gi-Oh character. Ow! He got sent to the Shadow Realm again. Fuck. Oh shit! No! Oh no! Fuck! Also, why he has that face? He, he just used to torment and horror and life in the afterlife. Yeah, he's he's experienced all four of those and more. That's why he's in a constant like state of like anxiety. He's like, I've seen all the horrors of like the life and the afterlife. Like I, I I've been there, bro. Nothing scares me anymore, despite having a resting bitch face of, full of anxiety. <laughs> oh my god. I just love how we're making so much lore over this fucking character in this little indie game that I'm actually really liking a lot so far. It's just so funny that he has like the simple ass backstory and they were just giving him like this ultimate lore of just being the ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh character that could like withstand the horrors of the shadow games. Oh no! <laughs> Damn it, he went to the shadow realm. I miss my wife, Alpha. She couldn't handle the shadow realm, so now she's just consumed by darkness. Damn, bruh. I feel bad for him, man. You know, with, with Darkness mentioned, like, he could also be the ultimate cage character. Because, like, the Darkness, that'll mean shit to me. <laughs> Take that, Sora. I could withstand the Darkness. I'm not a little bitch like Riku is. 
But another solid running joke like video essay spooky. Yeah. <laughs> I just love how we give indie characters like the ultimate lore. It's like, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It just, just changed the, the stream name from Alpha the Artist to Alpha the Lore Maker. Oh god. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, good. I already got those birds on top, so all I gotta do is just like focus on making it to the end. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. Don't go to the shadow realm. Don't go to the shadow realm. Don't go to the shadow realm. Please don't go to the shadow realm. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh. Okay, no, no shadow realm. No shadow realm. No shadow realm, please. Oh shit, there we go. We did it. We fucking did it. Oh my god. Now for more torture because <laughs> we're not done with this game. Oh, what is this? You can always return to the map and try another level. I mean, true, but let, let me let me try this first game. Oh wow. There are only these four eggs and one bird. You know it's gonna be an extremely hard level. Oh, with that in mind. That's why he's okay with eggs getting splat. He's seen worse. Yeah, he's like, you think seeing little babby birds, it gets splatted like that is bad? Nah, man, you haven't seen anything yet, bro. Oh God, okay. That's gonna be really tricky. Can I make it from here? Oh, yeah. It, oh, shit. No. No. <laughs> oh, the frame rate is dipping a little. Holy shit. Oh, no. No. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my damn. Oh shit! Oh god! <laughs> it's because this thing works really differently from like other bouncing platforms. Oh god, I'm really gonna have to be on the top of my concentration game here. Boy, boy, whoop, 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 I've cooked those eggs before. That's the only thing that you have uh, to eat in the shadow realm is just eggs. <laughs> oh my God. Imagine like being allergic to eggs and you get sent to the shadow realm and that's all you can eat. Like hot damn. You're already like twice as dead. Oh shit, shit, shit. Oh my god, this Yo, they the wonder that thing said you could come back here anytime. Oh my god. Oh hell no, nah, bruh. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Bro, this is like some Mario Kaizo shit, man. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm already basically in hell, especially with this level. What the fuck? That's like if someone gave you like a shoestring and some paper clips and be like, okay, make it through this giant hell hole. But using nothing but these two things. <laughs> oh my god. This feels exactly like that. Man. Oh! Okay. Okay, you know what? Maybe I don't have to, like, ride this thing all the way. Maybe I could just use physics to my advantage. Ooh, ooh. Oh god. 
Okay, never mind. As I like as soon as it said I said that the balls are like, you know what? We're just going to bounce you regularly cuz fuck you. Son of a bitch. I teach you like MacGyver, <laughs> right? Like to say no MacGyver shit. I'm just playing as a, a porcupine that could withstand the powers of the Shadow Realm. Uh, it, being like MacGyver does not come with the benefits, unfortunately. Oh my God! What the hell? Oh no! Can I make it? No, I can't. Nice. Okay, good. That's cool. No, that wasn't cool. Oh god, can I still make it? Fuck. Come on, man. Let me at least get the fucking eggs here, bruh. There we go. There we go. No, oh, damn it. Fuck. <laughs> no. No. No, damn it. Come on. You could do it. You would stood worse before panic. Come on. Oh my God. Come on, man. There's a reason why that doctor and Sonic by extension just called you to do all this shit while he's away. I can't make a gun with a paper clip and piece of paper, <laughs> right? How the fuck you expect me to do that? I'm not like the fucking like MacGyver, like Steve Minecraft of this fucking world. Are the people who make those five minute craft videos when they're not really five minutes, but they're like 30 minutes. <laughs> Oh my god. I love those Facebook videos so fucking much. Like, here's this five minute crafting video, except it's not five minutes, but it's like uh, so many hours. Like, yeah, all right. Like, all right, Facebook. Tell me more, sweet little lies. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. You're not Tails MacGyver. <laughs> Tails MacGyver. <laughs> Tails MacGyver. I love that. That could be like this guy's like version of Tails. It's just like a little fox dude who could just do MacGyver shit. I'll be like the ultimate partner to someone who survived the Shadow Realm so many times. Just a guy who can make anything out of anything. Oh God. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! Oh my god, are you fucking serious? No, I almost made it. Fuck me so hard. Oh my god, he wouldn't be a fox. He'd be a coyote. You know what? Yeah, a coyote would be way better. Because it could also be like a throwback. Well, not a throwback, but a reference to... Wily E. Coyote from Looney Tunes. Damn it. Okay, so it does go all the way to the edge, so I, I don't have to try doing all that. I just gotta try riding this thing all the way to the end. Okay. 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 Holy shit. Did it, it looked like I was walking on those spikes. What the hell? <laughs> Panic was like, let me just use my Shadow Realm powers. And I'm like, oh, wait, this is a video game. I have to be fair. No. Oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. And his name is actually Tails of Spike. Just having one tail. Yeah, that's what they just call him in the streets. Tails. And my name is Tails. Oh shit, they call me by that name for some reason. I don't know why. Ow. Oh my god. Bro, there we go.
Oh, oh my god. Okay, good. Good shit. Okay, good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Okay, good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Okay. Let's go. Super hard level completed. Ooh. I can't just send everyone to the shadow realm. You know how much <laughs> work that takes. Not to mention I have to pay for reservations for victims in the shadow realm. Like, come on, man. <laughs> I'm surprised little Karibo didn't make a joke like that <laughs> about reservations and shit for the shadow realm. Oh, I see what's going on here. Okay, yeah. What? Oh, you have to press the spin dash button to like make it work. All right, let's actually use physics here because this is a Sonic game after all. Oh shit, what? Oh, okay, we gotta get this birdie here. Oh my god, I just saw the number of birds. 13? Are we getting the organization 13 of birds here? Like the fuck? There's no fucking way. So this is Yu Gi Oh! Sonic, Super Meat Boy, and Kingdom Hearts. This, wow, we're going like ultimate crazy with this crossover. I also have to challenge you to a duel and my deck isn't properly updated to the new format. It's been a pain. Oh God. So Panic Porcupine is like an OG player. You know what? I, I respect that. Cause I, I, I try getting into master duels and it's like, besides other stuff like popping up, I, I just can't get into it, man. It was like, I just see the new rules and I'm just like, bro, why do they make Yu-Gi-Oh into rocket science? It's just so weird. It's like Yu-Gi-Oh is like one of the perfect examples of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Cause they try fixing Yu-Gi-Oh and it's just like, you, why would you want to fix Yu-Gi-Oh when Yu-Gi-Oh has been perfect the way it is? I mean, I say that, but I also don't like know about the meta of like the older Yu-Gi-Oh. So maybe it wasn't like always perfect, but still. LG player who started with the Bandai. Oh, damn. So he's that much of an OG player. Holy shit. Yeah, for those who don't know, like Yu-Gi-Oh started up. Uh, what the hell? That's some wacky physics happening there. But uh, yeah, for those who don't know, like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, like the trading card game actually started with Bandai, not like with Konami. Which I still find fascinating to this day because I was watching, I think either an Iceberg video or someone doing a review of like Yu-Gi-Oh. And I was like, huh, like even the cards look super different, like compared to like how Konami designs them. I was like, huh, okay then. Yeah, it was basically the prototype for like the trading card game. But I, I really love seeing stuff like that, whether it be like trading cards or like, um, video games or even like shows and stuff like it's always fascinating seeing like uh like the original versions and what could have been like one thing that uh interests me is uh you know going back to kingdom hearts is how they weren't gonna always have sora be the main character they were actually gonna have mickey be the main character and like Sora's prototype or like design was like this weird lion anthro character with like a chainsaw for a sword. I'm just like, damn, that's hardcore as fucked. 
Imagine a world where those are the standard cards. It will be so fucking weird, but also fascinating. Huh. How am I gonna get up there? Hardcore as hell, so furry approved. Hey, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I mean, the springs are useful, but not for this section, because I, I could barely get up here. Wait, is there anything here? Okay, no, just those things. Okay. pinball you know if we are going to make this a sonic game then yeah pinballs would be appropriate because pinballs was one of the inspirations for sonic if uh people are interested in like the ooh, the freaking like origin of how sonic came to be That's why you see so many pinball stuff in like Sonic games. <laughs> That's because if it wasn't for pinball being like the inspiration for Sonic, like Sonic wouldn't be how he is. Oh God. Oh, oh God, no, no, get up. Do the thing. <laughs> Damn it. Also, the metaphor owed to Yu-Gi-Oh! was basically having good traps and spells on monsters that actually had effects. Are you talking about like uh, like the older meta or are you talking about like the Bandai stuff still? But yeah, if, like if you're talking about like the OG of like the meta, then yeah, that's basically it. I also know there are some cards and combinations that were broken as fuck. But like I said, I don't really know much about the meta of like older Yu-Gi-Oh. All I know is that it's a lot simpler than what we have now. Oh, okay, yeah. Because OG Yu-Gi-Oh was basically and only had a few monsters with effects like Maneater Bug or that Flip Jar. There was also that one monster that was almost unbeatable. Oh, what monster is that? Three ring trap. What three ring trash? Okay, what is this? Oh my God. This is like that one boss in Sonic Colors, but made more hellishly horrifying. Oh my god. What if we made... <laughs> what if we made Sonic Colors boss uh, really fucking horrifying? Oh god. The green... Oh, legend? That monster had effects? What the fuck? What the hell? Wait, why doesn't Kaiba use that effect then? Hello? If it's so broken, the fuck? He's like, you know what? I feel sorry for the third rate duelist, so <laughs> I'm not going to be using that broken ass effect of this, of this fucking card. Even though that would have been helpful against Yugi, but whatever. Kaiba's a weirdo. I mean, he, he fucking has a jet plane. Shaped like a blue eyes for fuck's sake. I mean, uh, but to be fair to Kaiba though, if I had the money to buy a jet plane like that, I fucking would use that. Like, <laughs> I'd be like, you know what? This is weird as fuck and people will laugh at me for it. But you know what? I have a jet plane as a, uh, uh, I have a blue eyes as a jet plane. So fuck off. <laughs> I care not for what you say about me. Your opinions are invalidated. Oh my god, okay. Okay, Sonic Colors. 
reach for the stars tonight. <laughs> oh my God. And by stars, we mean bus saws. Cause, uh, yeah. Oh my God. I also, I like, I just now realized the cannon sound effects are basically gunshots. I just love how we were talking about like giving Star Angel a shotgun and like we just have like gunshots for the cannon noises. All right, kill him, flickies. Holy shit. That, that was a really cool but freaky boss fight. <laughs> Oh, genie of the lamp. Oh, I thought it was La Jin because I know like another green genie is La Jin. I, it didn't have effects. It just had a really good attack for a full level monster. It was 1800, which was insane back then. Oh, it definitely was. I'm surprised we haven't even hit the two hour mark. Hot damn. And we have like three more worlds after this one. Uh, maybe we could finish this in like one or two streams. I mean, depending because, you know, this game is still Super Meat Boy. Okay. Oh, okay. Bus saws. You know, if I didn't remind you that this was Super Meat Boy, that definitely would have reminded you. Shit. I think a basic attack for most monsters back then was 1500 yeah then you have like ones like la Jin where it was like 1800 and even a few that reached 200 but i think uh one or two of them were like somewhere around like uh to 2500 i could be wrong but yeah there were just some monsters who took like the <laughs> the basic standards of the game and said fuck you i'm doing my own thing Oh, ah, shit. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna try getting some of the eggs here, but if I can't get them all, then I'm just gonna say fuck it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure getting all the eggs uh, unlocks something, but uh, if it's not a world, then I'm, I'm just gonna be like, you know what? Screw this shit. Gotta love that power creep. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z isn't the only one that does uh, insane power creeps. And then you have Super who just takes the concept of power levels and is like, ha ha, lol. I think a one famous example of that is how Master Roshi was able to punch a uh, was not punch, but was able to dodge a punch by Jiren. I'm just like, isn't Jiren like this ultimate like behemoth of like a character? Bruh, I, t I, I guess I was supposed to hit A, not B, but whatever. Brusky. Oof. Oh, oh shit. Ooh. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh no 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 fuck I missed the eggs. More attacked in gate guard. <laughs> oh my god. That's so fucking hilarious. Holy shit. Seems like power scaling was all over the place with Yu-Gi-Oh. Well, more so now, but still. That's just funny as fuck to read. Oh shit. Oh, there we fucking go. Okay, wait, wait a minute. Wait, what? There are 51 eggs? Where the fuck are the other ones? Yeah, boss monster, yeah. Oh my god, all those dead children. 
You know what? We, we'll come back to that if I have to get them to unlock a level, but yeah. Well, now we have the conveyor belts because, uh, again, another staple in Sonic. Can't do anything without conveyor belts. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Wait a minute. What? How am I supposed to grab those? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, you can't even... Uh, maybe I have to keep running. Hold on. Oh, yeah, you do. What the f... <laughs> Sonic never did that. <laughs> what the shit? Okay, well, there's a new idea for you, Sonic team. If you're going to make the next classic Sonic game, just, just do shit like that. Oof. That's such an interesting mechanic, though. I'm surprised no other, like, Sonic game or Sonic-inspired game like this one done something like that with conveyor belts. That seems like something you can do. Just to, like, spice things up a bit, I mean. Oh god. Ooh, okay, good. What do we have now? Oh, whoa, hoo, hoo. no, no, no. Oh my god, what is this? And I missed a few eggs again. Fucking. Oh, wait, wait a minute. No, damn it, I got greedy with the eggs! <laughs> damn it. No. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, man. They really be out here trying to punish people who are completionists. Damn it, man. Punish the other completionists, not me. Let me stop. <laughs> I don't know much about that situation, but from what I hear, wow. Um, that's all I'm going to say. Oh, shoot. Ooh, 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 okay, buddy. Damn it. I would have thought they had at one point. Oh, you mean the conveyor belt thing? I've, I don't think they ever done anything like that. Because I've played a shit ton of classic Sonic games. I've never seen them do anything like that with the conveyor belts before. Because the only thing that I've seen they don't conveyor belts is like in Sonic CD, there's like a level where you could like hit a switch to like reverse them. Oh, and they also had that in Sonic 3 as well. But yeah, nothing like, oh, you could, if you like a walk and stuff, like you could like walk upside a conveyor belt. Like I've never seen that gimmick before. There we go. It seems too naturally that they would. Yeah, which kind of makes me wonder why they never did that type of gimmick with conveyor belts. Oh, that's Sonic fans for you. They always take one aspect of Sonic and do something like interesting with it. Some of the time, because most of the time, like they're usually like the same thing like as like the other sonic games but yeah if you're moving fast enough you can tread cement don't sink okay ow okay sonic running uh yeah you know what yeah that's what this gimmick is sonic running on water except this dude is running on cement so again Another or another reason why Porcupine is more hardcore than Sonic. Oh fuck. 
I saw what I had to do there, but I was so intimidated by the saw blades. Okay, yeah, so if I want to move it along co constantly, I'm going to have to time my running correctly. Damn it. Fuck. Maybe I can't, like, constantly run in that part. I mean, it feels like I could, though. Okay, yeah, fuck. We're just gonna keep jumping. Uh huh. Looks like I could go there. The fuck? Oh, oh, oh. What? The no! Why did he move backwards? Damn you, panic. You could go to the Shadow Realm later. I'm doing a fucking stream right now with your game. Damn, bruh. Always gotta fuck me over when I don't want you to. Okay, that one was my fault. And my tablet and phone are acting dumb. I don't have anything up right now. The fuck, man. There we go. Panic be like, well, the beach is nice this time of year in the shadow row anyway. <laughs> he goes to the beach during the winter time. Damn, again. Another reason why this dude is more hardcore than Sonic. Like, hot damn. Going to the beach during the winter time. Like, this dude's a badass. Major props if he goes to the beach during the winter time at night. Like, hot damn. He's like, I'm not a bitch like Sonic. I, I'm not gonna uh, lose my shit over water. Okay, there we go. Of course I fumbled there. Fuck the shadow. Well, it's the shadow realm. It's always not. You know what? Yeah, good point. Yeah, hot damn. He's like the strongest Sonic character and he's not even official. That's crazy. You know, who would win in a match? This guy or Cold Steel the Hedgehog? Or the Hedgehead, I think his last name is. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, you know, that is the logical thing that would happen if you're sinking in, like, cement like that. A <laughs> giant for panic porcupine versus virgin sonic. Oh my god, I feel like drawing that now. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, fuck me, man. I really love this track though. Like the music has been really good so far, but here I just really love it. Hot damn. This is like pure Sega-esque music here. Damn. This shit is so insane, bro. Like what the fuck? Fuck me. <laughs> son of a bitch. Oh, son of a bitch, even more. Ah, 
I was trying to do a light jump, but that didn't work out, so fuck yeah, fuck yeah again. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, let's go! Fuck yeah! Holy shit. I'm in like a... Reckon- Wait, the level said came in like a... Does that mean we're gonna see Wrecking Ball mechanics? Oh god. Oh, there it is! Yep. I came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> Good God. That was a really weird moment in my life. Just witnessing that fucking <laughs> music video. I don't even think it was a... Yeah, it was a music video. And then there was like some other weird shit Miley Cyrus did. Just to be like, I'm not like Disney anymore. <laughs> There were some eggs here though. Let me see that shit. Okay, yeah, there we go. I was like, let me let me go ahead and get that first. So in case I do need all these eggs to access a secret level, I could just be like, you know what? I, I got this shit here. I don't need to be here again. <laughs> you see a giant mice <laughs> Cyrus in the level. <laughs> Maybe, maybe that's the boss of this level is just the fucking giant Miley Cyrus. Oh shit. Bruh. Oh my goodness. No. Woo. Okay. No. She also tried to be in two and a half men. Oh, really? Was like a guest character or something. I remember that show a lot when I was younger and I never watched it before. Cause like there were a lot of shows that I watched when I was younger, but it was never two and a half men. Oh, oh god, okay, yep, here we go. Time to lose all that progress. Oh man, okay. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is, bucko. Wait. Two and a half men was one of my favorites until Charlie got kicked out. Yeah, I hear a lot of people like that show. Well, it was the show just about like two dudes trying to take care of a kid or something like that? Or am I thinking of a different show? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Whoop, there it is. <laughs> Whoop, there it is. Oh no! Oh, damn it! You know, I just noticed. Why do the wrecking balls look like watermelons? Is there a reason for that, uh, game developer? Were they watermelons at one point, but then they're like, you know what? Fuck it, wrecking balls. <laughs> oh, 
I just imagine a construction site being like, you know what? We're gonna sell off these wrecking balls to this company, but we have to make them look like watermelons. Don't ask why, they, they just want them to look like watermelons for some reason. Oh shit. Uh, kind of. Basically, a guy gets divorced and stays with his well-off brother and the kid visits so often. Shenanigans ensues after that. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's kind of like that then. All right. That's pretty neato. Oof. Oh, fuck me. No shit. It's really funny. A great meme came from it. Hmm. Oh, which meme is that? I think I might be familiar with it. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my God. Oh, there we go. Now we just need these eggs to make the ultimate omelet. I mean, save the kids and uh, then we rescue another birdie. Oh my God. expecting the springs there which is why my brain fucking stopped fuck man i had it there man and i just dropped it <laughs> no that thinks he forgot something and the brother was like we must uh, well it must have not been important if you forgot it and then the all oh, that that came from that show I thought that was a always sunny in Philadelphia thing. Then again, I never watched that show either, but holy fuck. Now I have to watch that show. <laughs> ah, damn, that's so freaking amazing. You'll learn something new every day, guys. The thing I learned was great meme knowledge. Fuck yeah. I remember when that episode aired. Dang, Loq was one of the first to witness the birth of a meme, damn it. And the birth of uh, Panic going to the Shadow Realm again. Fuck. Damn it, I got distracted by one of my friends playing Pokemon Violet. Oh my god. I was thinking of like doing a redo of that um of that playthrough, but uh I don't know man. It's like that would require me to also get the DLC and I, I'm 
I appreciate my little sister um, buying a game for me for like a Christmas gift uh, like two years ago, but uh, I don't know, man. Like I, I, I enjoy that game, but I, I don't feel like paying 60 bucks for DLC. Oh, a Violet Nuzlocke. That could be fun to do. Considering it's like an open worldish game. Okay, I'm gonna have to really. Yeah, cause I remember uh, like two years ago for like um, Christmas 2022. That was one of the Christmas gifts that I got was that Pokemon game. You know what? Let me actually look that up right now. I think it has it was two years, but I, I'm gonna check. Pokemon Violet. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Release date, man. Give me the release date. Yeah, uh, 2022. Yeah, time really flies when you're uh, not playing a game that uh, has had had amazing potential but was destroyed by <laughs> performance and technical issues. Oh my god. I'm telling you, like I, I, like I really enjoyed uh, Gen Nine, but good lord, the technical issues. And I know the Switch is not the best system, but it, you cannot tell me it was because of the Switch, because there, are how many, how many games that are freaking huge, that are on the Switch and do not run like shit. Like, I can't speak for third-party games, especially now since I, like, have a gaming PC, but there's Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, the Xenoblade games, and, you know, even though Super Mario Odyssey is in an open-world game, that game is still fucking huge and is able to run well on the Switch. Game... I think it's uh, also Game Freak needs to get their shit together and they just need to let them cook more. Cause like with the way Pokemon Company is now with like their merchandising shit, it's they expect Game Freak to make a fucking game at like lightning speed and it's just like, you know, if you give them time to cook maybe people wouldn't be shitting on your games but as like considering how those games make them lots of money anyway and you have also have people that will defend them like they're never gonna do it they're never gonna let game freak have time to like cook which is always gonna release half-baked games and then still makes a shit ton of money out of them that's part of the reason why I just don't really care much for Pokemon anymore outside of like spin-offs or like another Legends game, which I will definitely fucking buy. Please make another Legends game Pokemon that's just as good, if not better than the first Legends game, because I will definitely buy it. Because it's like a future Pokemon games are going to be anything like Scarlet and Violet and I just don't want it anymore. I am just perfectly fine with spin-offs and another Legends game, but yeah. <laughs> I am just so hesitant because I know as soon as I jump off, I'm either going to die or hit the springs and then die. Yep, die. <laughs> there, there it is. If they could get Doom Eternal running decent on the Switch, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet have no excuse. Yeah. Like, for fuck's sakes. Like, I know Doom Eternal is, like, digital only, but it's like, damn. <laughs> it's like, come on, Pokemon Company. You can't, like, you can't just blame the Switch for everything. You can't just blame the Switch for everything and then be like, oh, no, man. 
like the reason why our game can't run well on like the switch is because like the switch itself is not that good like please and like sure like i say like breath of the wild and tears of the kingdom and even like xenoblade and they may have some like issues with like frame rate and stuff but it's like even then it's like they run way fucking better than the scarlet and violet it's like come on bro our game is just too good for the switch guys like the switch can't handle our epic game our epic pocket monster collecting game it's like come on guys it's like you know the switch can't handle it like come on Okay. Oh my god. Okay, okay, good. Oh my god, please stop. I trading the eggs. It's such an epic game that we should make a store for it. Call it the epic game store. <laughs> oh my God. If it wasn't for the fact that I have to have like Fortnite and um, Fall Guys installed in that game, then it's like I would not have the epic games launcher. But that said, though, if if no one saw it already, you could get that Guardians of the Galaxy game for free. The one that I think won Game of the Year or something like that, like a few years ago. Like, you could get it for free on Epic Games. Like, I also got a, a couple of other free games there, too. Like, I'm just so shocked that they would release that for free, though. Because I, I would think you wouldn't want to release like such a such an amazingly high praise game like that for free. But yeah, they did it. Epic Game Store is such a trash storefront. It really is. I'm still upset that you could only get the Kingdom Hearts games uh, from that uh, the place if you're. If you want to like get it on PC and you want to do mods and stuff like that's the only uh, place you could get them at. Because Epic Games was like, you know what, Square, uh, we'll we'll pay you lots of money to release it to this like place exclusively. And then Square is like, yeah, OK, sure. I'm just like, bruh, why? Why would you do that? <laughs> They're needing whatever advertising they could get and that's true, but still it's just like damn man Like it would have been so cool to have the Kingdom Hearts games on like Steam too, but like no Just got to put it on epic game store cuz fuck it. We need something over Steam <clears throat> Despite the fact that people are still not going to give a fuck about our like store and are probably just going to like pirate the games anyway, but fuck it, man. <laughs> Which I don't condone piracy for like games like that, but still it's just come on, bro. They made it, they still, they made Unreal Engine, the game that built Epic Games down from all storefronts. True. Which I could give them respect for, but still, it's just like, damn. Why you gotta make, why you gotta make that fucking, like, game exclusive to Epic Games? Like, come on. Such a lame move, Square. You know, then again, yeah, I shouldn't really blame Epic Games. I should just blame Square for not being like, nah, it's okay, bruh. We'll release it on your store and Steam. 
They were just like, oh, okay, yeah, just uh, release it there exclusively. Fucking idiots. I really do not like Square these days. But whatever. If Kingdom Hearts 4 is good, then fuck it. I'll put up with them. There's also like the the remake series of Final Fantasy 7, but I enjoyed the first one, so I'm definitely going to check out Rebirth whenever that gets released. Oh no, not Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Uh eh. Yeah, it you know what? Yeah, I take that back. Square and both Square and Epic games are shit. <laughs> oh my god. Nah, man. They can't keep getting away with this. They can't. Wait a minute. His jumping sprite. That reminds me of that clown girl Palmy. I still haven't seen Digital Circus. But uh, I know people definitely love that clown girl a lot. Good God. Um. <laughs> Man, this clown girl has anxiety like me. She's like me for real. <laughs> I don't know the whole deal with that. All I know is the uh, the clown girl, the ragdoll girl, and the bunny dude. That's a douchebag, apparently. I, oh, what do you think of Digital Circus? You know, without spoiling it, because I actually do want to watch that. Oh. I see what I gotta do there. So I have to use that wrecking ball to jump high enough to get those eggs. Oh my god. Yeah, so much fan art. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. I thought it was fine. Not personally interested in it though. Hmm. Yeah, I, I think I might feel that way too, but I still want to watch it. I think the premise is interesting for what I've seen from like fan videos and stuff. I, I won't get into like the spoilers of it in case uh, you guys haven't seen it yet. Well, anyone because, you know, look, you've seen it, but yeah, it's just, huh. So much fan art, just like there's so much fan art of. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. So much fan art of Wabi <laughs> and Nudge Nudge. <laughs> Let me shut the fuck up, bro. Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, good. Yes, I die on the inside too. Every time I'm reminded of what the internet does to characters of any kind especially the cute ones mm. what time is it okay maybe another half an hour and then i will call it a stream so i am getting pretty hungry and i am as much as i'm loving this game i'm getting pretty sick of getting sent to the shadow realm Oh my god. I probably may not get all the eggs here because it's like way too fucking hard to do that. Damn it.
Oh no. Oh shit, what? There we go. carefully damn it not careful enough <laughs> Fuck. oh my god why did I have to be a, a saint trying to save babbies all of a sudden in this game about like the ultimate sonic character going through it Aw, oh, dang it. <laughs> Are you winning, son? I fucking wish I was. Even though we've gotten really far in this game, but still... Oh my god. Now you know the 0.0000001% of what Panic has to deal with on a daily basis. That's true. This game only scratches the smallest, teeniest, tiniest surface of his life. Stop doing that when I'm using you to keep up a chat. Panic is the new Shaggy me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. You know, instead of going super, he just goes <laughs> ultra instinct. He's like, Sonic needs the seven chaos emeralds. Fuck it, I have the power of angels on my side. <laughs> He has the power of God, anime, and angels on his side. He's the ultimate character. No one can ever fuck with Panic. And the power of the Shadow Realm. Damn, this dude is so broken as fuck. Holy shit. Yeah, he really is stronger than Cold Steel the Hedgehead. Holy fuck. Damn, Sonic should have just gotten this guy to, like, help him in Sonic Frontiers. <laughs> he probably would have just destroyed every enemy in Sonic Frontiers in, like, five seconds flat. <sighs> oh my god, getting those eggs is going to be tough.
Oh god. What sent Eggman to the Shadow Realm in cold blood? He would. He definitely would. He's like, I'm tired of Eggman shit. Just leave us alone, please. Aw, oh, damn it. Okay, so far so good. How do you feel about Steamboat Willie being public domain? <clears throat> I mean, it's interesting. But I know Disney is gonna do shit to just try and get Steamboat Willie back because you know how protective they are. So I'm not like uh, super like, oh my god, is something of Disney is finally ours, guys. Because you know Disney has a plan for that. But if Disney is truly going to do nothing and just be like, eh, fuck it, then... Uh, I mean, that would be interesting. Like, I could see so many non-Disney cartoons and non-Disney associated stuff just using that clip. Or just doing stuff based off Steamboat Willie, not getting axed by Disney whatsoever. Ow. They really can't do that now. They are trying to regulate things to try and protect the brand and keep the trademark. Really? So it's too late for them to do anything like that? Huh. Okay, that's really interesting then. Huh. I might have to look into that then. Because if it actually is too late for them to do anything like that, then, huh. I wonder how much Disney is scrambling and fumbling right now. I mean, that's if they actually, like, care that much. If not, there's just, like, another day to them. Okay, you know what? I've seen the time. Fuck it. We're just gonna go through the level and not try to get the eggs. Because I think I spent the longest time on this level. I've been spending the longest time on this fucking level. Yeah, when something is public domain, there's no going back. Although you can't call Mickey Mouse Mickey Mouse or something like that. You can't use modern imagery like the red pants and so on. Oh, okay. Yeah, because I figure like you can't do anything 
with um with Mickey Mouse himself just only use the footage and whatnot. <laughs> the pachinko level of the game. Oh god. Oh my god. I wonder if this game is gonna have any Oh what the fuck? Okay, I think we found the pachinko machine of, of this fucking game. Or the pachinko level. Okay, what is... Oh my god. It's like a fucking uh, roulette of death here. It's like Russian roulette, but if Russia was like... It just like the ultimate like... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I don't, I don't even fucking know like this is just like extreme Russian roulette Oh my god Holy shit but, Oh my I, <laughs> I hit that shit by accident Oh my oh my god Oh my god, what in the shit? No! Oh my god. No! <laughs> what the fuck? Hey! Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh my god, this is so unfun. Holy shit. So you use a loaded cannon rather than a gun to <laughs> go to the shadow realm. Oh my god, this is probably how he gets into the shadow realm. He just plays this fucking fucked up Russian roulette game. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> go enter the shadow realm for vacation again. Oh my god. Nah, bruh. You can't do that game. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am tired. I am so tired right now. Oh my god. Wait, let me let me see what you said. Damn it, phone, please. He plays Russian roulette on a daily basis. It's his favorite game. <laughs> oh my god. This dude's super hardcore with it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn it, Porcupine. You have like time powers. Can't you like slow things down? Oh my god. Nah, man. <laughs> oh my god. Damn. No. Damn. Fuck. Where you he kills people. Oh my god, yeah. If not mentally scarring them for life, then he definitely does kill people. That's good, God. Yugi, like, 
well, not really Yugi, but a Tem was pretty much like the Punisher of like shonen like manga back then. He was like, oh, you fuck with my friends. Well, have like a really wonderful mental scarring. Oh, you tried doing something really fucked up with my friends. How about I burn you the fuck alive? He did not fuck around. Yeah, the Punisher and Riddler had a kid because <laughs> exactly what he was. Even Kaiba and like Mokuba were no joke. Because Mokuba was like, oh, you want to like uh, be like the king of games and stuff? Uh, beat me in this uh, game of capsule monsters. And if you don't, I'll cut your fingers off. Haunted Hill. Uh, speaking of like really spooky shit, like <laughs> season zero Yu-Gi-Oh. I'll probably make this and the next level the last ones we do. Oh, what the? Okay. Now we have this mechanic. Oh, cool. We also have the mechanic of fucking up. That's always a fun mechanic. Damn it. You know what? Instead of doing that, I should probably just jump like I usually do. So I'm kind of surprised I'm not doing right now. Okay, jump at the right time, though. Uh, oh, shit. Ooh. Mother of fuck. Mother of fuck. What the hell? Okay, we're doing this type of platforming. Nice. No! Oh, <laughs> Haunted Hill. Great value person of Pumpkin Hill. Yeah, that too. You know, I actually might play Pumpkin Hill when we go to that level uh, the next time we play this. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh my god, what? Okay. Spikes down there. Note to self. Motherfucker. Oh my god. Just to get one egg. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Egg, give me the oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, uh, there we go. Never mind. Why didn't he hold on to damn it? Oh, now it's different colors. What the fuck? Why didn't I notice that at first? Thing here okay no it's not okay good
Auf. Okay, eggs. Damn it, I'm hungry for like chocolate eggs now because of this fucking game. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, oh, damn it. Hold on. Okay, yeah. With how, with the rate I'm going at with this level, this actually might be the last level because holy fuck. Did you fuck? No! <laughs> no! Dang it! I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that either. Maybe panic would, cause you know he just chills at the sh the shadow realm, but not me. Not this guy. Okay. Oh, this shit's so evil, man. Okay. Note to self, do not chill there unless you want to go to the Shadow Realm. Oh my god, I thought it was gonna reach for me. Yeah, panic is just numb to any form of pain. It's like, I I've been through it, man. I know how it is. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, what is this? What the f So they want me to just jump off of that spring to the other hook. You're not shit for that. What? This game ain't shit, bruh. Hello? I also know how it is right now. <laughs> Aw. Yeah. Oh man. Anybody in chat like just, just give a hug to low Q. I I won't reveal what they're going through, but yeah. They haven't been like doing that well, so you know. Give them some love if you can. I will definitely give them love and like share their stream and not whenever they get to doing that. I'm very excited for it because I had no idea you wanted to get into streaming, but that'll be really fun to check out. Oh my god, panic. There we go, there we fucking go. Okay, now for this stupid damn section. They. Oh, fucking damn. But it's like. You see that, right? They want me to take that green spring and somehow do the ultimate platforming trick of going to the other hook like the fuck you're not shit game <laughs> i don't know this game like that i mean i guess i do now that i went through so much hell but what the fuck man oh my god and not because of the family thing it just made it oh no yeah i i, I understand yeah
Oh my god, now I gotta go through this shit again. Fuck yeah. So cool. Ha ha. So cool again. Ha ha. I oh, damn it, I should have waited. Shit. I'm forgetting to forget my own strats now. For this fucking hellish level. That wants me to do the impossible in this one section. Oh my god, no way, no how, fuck me, fuck me, oh, never mind, never mind, no fucking of me, oh god, now we have to do this shit, <gasps> okay, there we fucking go, holy shit, now I don't have to do this level to get the eggs. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. I think that is definitely the best place to stop. Until Saturday or whenever I get to stream again. But yes. Thank you all for stopping by to my return to streaming. It has been very fun, and I'm sure we'll have many more fun times now that I'm back. Very excellent indeed. So until next time, thank you, LoQ. Thank you, Rapunzel. Thank you, Master Wolf Austin. And thank you, Love, for stopping by. And to anybody else who stopped by, whether you were here live or just lurking, whatevs. And until then, see y'all later and have a good one.